Yeah, Vicky, U of L's AD Vince Tyre says Chris Mack is the victim in this, but as several fans put it to me today, this is just another hit to the overall reputation of the U of L men's basketball program. On Friday, school officials announced U of L men's basketball coach Chris Mack will be suspended for six games without pay for his handling of the extortion attempt by former assistant coach Dino Gaudio. But director of athletics Vince Tyre says Mack was the victim. Obviously, Chris didn't handle it in a way that we would have liked to have seen it handled. Um, you know, obviously the HR part of it, we did a review and and came out to a point where. We feel like there's some lessons learned here for him. All of this comes as the secret recording was released where Mac told Gaudio his contract was not being renewed. So here's what you're going to do. It stays right here between me and you now for about mm, 24 hours. You go tell that toad over there, Vince Tyree. Dino's my guy. I got to take care of him. I want to pay him for a year, okay? And none of this happens. Got it? Gaudio pleaded guilty in federal court for the threatening to report NCAA violations to the media unless he received 17 months of salary. Although the judge questioned the charge, Gaudio was sentenced Friday to a year probation and will have to pay a $10,000 fine. We wish like crazy that they would have chosen not to prosecute this in federal court, but they did. And... You know, we just couldn't be more happy with the judge's decision uh, to give him the minimum he could possibly give him. Cards fan says this is yet another stain on the men's basketball program. Yes, I definitely feel like they can't catch a break, and especially at much of the time when the program's trying to you know, rebound and gain some traction, it it's definitely feels like they can't catch a break. First, I feel bad for Coach, right? You know, anybody that gets, gets suspended for six games, that's about a fifth of the season. It kind of stinks. Max six non-conference game suspension will take place from November 8th through the 27th. If you're going to send a message, games are important to coaches, and uh, we felt like that uh, sent a clear message of, uh, of uh, the importance and of the magnitude of the issue at hand. Aside from more than $200,000 worth of pay Mac will lose, he's prohibited from having any contact with the coaching staff and the players. For fans, they say only time will tell how Mac's suspension affects the team down the line. It is unfortunate, no doubt about it, but we're going to overcome this and we're going to be better because of it. And I hope coach learns from it and we, uh, you know, we overcome and keep going. Yes, and Gaudio's attorney says he, his client hopes to one day return to the basketball world, whether as a coach or an analyst. In terms of who will fill Mac's shoes for those six games, Tyre says he's letting Mac handle that conversation with his coaching staff. Reporting live at the Yum Center, I'm Shaquille Lord, WOKY News.